All right, here's the new Mac App Store on the new Apple M1 MacBook Pro. And uh, I'm gonna just show you uh, how it looks like. And I'm gonna show you how you can find iOS apps, basically iPhone and iPad apps on the uh, Mac App Store. So like usually you have some of these apps, but now when you do a search, for example, uh, do a search for game, then you have this option up top that says iPad and iPhone apps. And when you click on it, you have access to the iOS apps that are being ported to Mac and you can actually get them and play them on your Mac. So let's, for example, get this one. I'm gonna click open. And there we go, we have the iOS apps running on the Mac. Now, these apps at the moment, you can't really uh, make them full screen for whatever reason, but of course you can just play them like so. You can just play them with the mouse. And I think, uh, yeah, you can only play them with the mouse. They're not fully optimized yet for the uh, um, Mac OS, but of course you can expect them get to get better uh, very, very soon since more and more people are buying these uh, computers and they're super fast and they're really awesome and uh, more and more people are going to keep using these uh, computers and more and more developers are going to update the apps and uh, they are going to basically uh, show up on the Mac App Store. So that's how you download and find iOS apps on the Mac App Store. And uh, it's very simple. You just need to click this tab after you do a search. I could not find a category at the moment that just shows the iPhone and iOS apps, iPhone and iPad apps, but um, um, I assume that they might add it later on or they just keep it as a, as a mixed store uh, since you don't really need to know which one's which and you just can download it and have a good experience with the app if you enjoyed this video then subscribe to this channel for more videos like this you can also watch these videos which i think you'd be very interested in let me know if you have a question in the comments below and i'll be seeing you in the next video